Hello, today we have another video for you in the best of CET series by IMS. In today's video, we will be dealing with error identification questions. Error identification questions may test your knowledge of grammar, sometimes vocabulary or usage. And on rare occasions, it might be something very simple as spelling also. How do you prepare for error identification? Well, focus on the major rules and concepts in grammar. Don't try to mug up everything about it because that's not going to be possible. Apart from that, reading is probably the best way to improve your language overall. So read as much as you can. Let's solve some questions now. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. Take a look at this question. It says each sentence is broken into four labeled parts. Mark the part that has an error in it. It is also possible that the sentence is perfect, that there is no error, in which case you should mark five. Read this sentence as a whole and see if you can find any error in it. Did you manage to see anything? Well, if you read it, maybe it would strike you that the subject of the sentence is reason. Reason is a singular subject. But the verb all the way in part number three is have been. The concept that is being tested by this particular question is subject verb agreement. The rule here says that a singular subject must take a singular verb. But in this case, there is a mismatch. So what should the correct verb be? It should be has been. The main reason has been improve public health. It's not a very difficult error to catch, but it's easy to miss if you are not able to distinguish the subject and the verb. So the error lies in part number three. Let's take a look at another question. Again, take your time, see if you can spot the error. Please note that sometimes there may be no error at all. That is always a possibility. Let's take a look at what the problem is. It is a major risk that no one will want to become teacher if salaries are not raised. As you read it, perhaps it will strike you that there is a missing article. Where is the article missing? In part number three, it should be no one will want to become a teacher. Why do we need articles? Articles sometimes tell us whether we are considering something in general or whether we are considering a specific teacher, for example. Over here, we're trying to say that no one will want to become a teacher at all, not a specific teacher, but any teacher. So articles are important. They add meaning to the sentence. Article errors are a little difficult to spot and the rules surrounding articles are also fairly complex. So in case you miss out on some complex errors, it's all right. But this one was a fairly simple one. The error again lies in part number three. We have a few more questions for you. Let's take a look at the next one. Now here again, slightly longer sentence. Most of the knowledge acquired from parents, friends, schools, newspapers, books, conversations and television are received verbally. See if you can spot the error. Did you see it? Well, again, the same concept that we discussed earlier. Our subject here is singular, the knowledge. But where is the verb? The verb again is far away from the subject. It is in part number four. What we're really trying to say here is most of the knowledge is received verbally. So again, there is a subject verb mismatch. Subject verb agreement is a fairly important concept. One more time, if you're not sure of what I'm talking about, go back to your grammar books or maybe just Google it and you would find out that it's not too hard to understand. The answer to this particular question is part four. The next question here is somewhat shorter. See if you can solve this one. Now let's read this together. Some believe that the anxiety brought about by the experience does not cause memory failure. There is a very simple error here, but it's easy to miss as you read this sentence. Did anyone see it? It is simply an incorrect word. 
bought used in part number 2 is the past tense of buy. For example, I bought something from the store. But that's not what we really want to say. We want to say anxiety caused by the experience. Since we want to say that anxiety is caused, we should say anxiety brought about and not bought about. So sometimes it's just as simple as this. You need to pay attention and you will catch these errors fairly easily. The answer to this one is part number two. The last question here. This is a document which validity has been questioned by several countries. See if you can spot the error. Again, fairly simple question. We are referring to a document, which is fine, but then we are referring to the validity of the document. In other words, we should be using a different pronoun. We should not be using which, we should be using whose, because we want to say the document's validity. Again, pronoun errors are fairly common. So you might want to read a little bit about pronouns whenever you're looking at grammar next time. Here again, the answer is part number two. So this was the last question that we had for you. Read a little bit more about subject verb agreement, pronoun errors, maybe a bit about articles so that the next time you do a lot better.